Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm bringing you this super fun DIY coaster video. And yes, these are picture coasters, which makes them perfect for your home or as a gift. Whether they're for beer, wine, tea, whatever you can think of, they can withstand. Let's go ahead and jump right in. First walking you through the materials I used, I start with tiles. I actually picked these up at Lowe's, super cheap, like 38 to 68 to 54, whatever cents, under a dollar each. I got two big and two small ones. I also picked up some photos. You can actually print these down on regular paper at home if you want, but it makes it really special if you get some printed. Walgreens always has cheap coupons, so go ahead and splurge a little. Next, you'll need some adhesives, whether you use a hot glue gun, double-sided stickies, a glue stick, or spray adhesive, whatever suits your fancy, run with that. You'll also need Mod Podge. Y'all, this is the most important product, so please do not forget your Mod Podge. A sealant to close the whole project up. And lastly, you'll need some felt to protect the bottoms. The first set of coasters I'm making today, I actually gave away as a housewarming gift, so you'll notice the pictures are not of me. <laughs> but um, you'll take the photos and you'll size them down to your tiles. I'm starting with a small tile. Once you've cut it down, you'll of course cover it with whichever adhesive you choose. I decided to go with the glue stick because it's easiest to manage. You'll line it up on your tile and you'll seal it all together. You'll do the same thing for your larger tiles, just making certain you choose a picture that covers most of the white space. I actually like white space all the way around, so I did cut it down just a bit, but here I am just adding some glue and sealing that picture down as well. After I've gotten all my pictures sealed down to my tiles, I go ahead and lay some paper down just to protect my fabric because we are about to get very messy. So I'm going to go in with my Mod Podge and some sort of paintbrush and basically just paint light even strokes over the entire picture and tile. This is what's going to seal and protect the photo so I want to make sure I'm covering every last drop and I do so about two to three times. For the larger tiles, it's pretty much the same exact process. I just zoomed in a little bit so you guys could kind of see what I mean about stroke lines and how important those are. Definitely be intentional there, but go ahead and cover it as much as you possibly can and then let those dry for a good one to two hours. Once the Mod Podge on my coasters has dried, I take them outside and I grab my sealant and here you'll just see me spraying very uh, generously <laughs> over the coasters to make sure everything is sealed in and protected. And here's the product. Once that sealant has dried, the photos are super HD. They're beautiful. I love that I did two different sizes and if you can see up close the stroke lines are nice and even and neat. I did notice I made a small mistake by doing the Mod Podge on paper because some of it would not come off but that's okay the coasters will still work whether you have paper on the back or not. Your final step is adding felt to the bottom of every single coaster just to make sure that your tables don't get all scratched up so you'll need felt and your double sided stickies for this part. You'll flip your coasters over and add your double sided stickies to each corner like so. And once those are all stuck down, you'll cut felt the same side as those squares and you'll place those over your double sided stickies. 
I learned recently that you can actually use wine corks for this part too, so that's pretty cool. And there you go. Your table will be protected. So in love with these coasters that I made a bunch of them for our home for the holidays, so that's why you'll notice a lot of these are Christmas themed. You can do this at any time of the year for yourself, for your family, for your friends. I hope you agree that this project is super easy, super fun. Thanks again for stopping back by my channel. See y'all in the next video.